In this video, we're going to look at WorldBook Wizard from the student side. WorldBook Wizard is a personalized adaptive learning tool where you can take fun drills to reinforce learning and increase your ability to remember that information over time. To access Wizard, go to the student homepage. You'll find Wizard under Quick Links. In order to use Wizard, you must sign in with your WorldBook account. If you have a My Research account, you can sign in with that here. Otherwise, click Create an Account. Fill in all of the fields. Make sure to select Student for the account type. Once you've filled in all the fields, click Submit. Once inside, the first thing you should do is join your classes. This will allow you to receive assignments from your teacher. Click Enter Class Code and enter the code that your teacher provides to you. This is your dashboard. There are three main pages, Assignments, Badges, and Classes. Badges are coming soon, but the other tabs are available now. On the Classes page, you can view the classes you are enrolled in. To enroll in another class, Again, click Enter Class Code. To leave a class, click Unenroll. On the Assignments page, you can view both your active assignments and assignment archive. Active assignments are your assignments that are due soon. The assignment archive shows the assignments that have passed their deadline, whether you've completed them or missed them. From this Assignments tab, you can complete drills that are assigned to you. Simply click on the assignment to begin. If you are not yet enrolled in a class, have no active assignments, or just want to learn something new, you can click the Browse Drills button in the top right. Pick a subject you'd like to practice, and then a drill you'd like to work on. Use the filters on the left to choose your grade level or change subjects. Once you've found one you like, click Start. Whether you've come from the Browse page or been assigned a drill, the process of taking the drill will be exactly the same. Viewing the assignment will show you details about that drill, including your progress. Press Start to begin the drill. As you work through the assignment, you'll notice that the most common type of question is multiple choice. If you get the question correct, it will turn green and give you positive feedback. As you answer questions correctly, you'll see the red progress bar increase. The assignment will not be complete until you reach 100% progress. You might get a question with a drop-down menu to complete a sentence. Another type of question requires you to drag answers into the correct order. You may also get a question that requires clicking on a diagram or picture to select the right answer. Use the magnifying glasses to zoom in or out on the diagram. If you get a question incorrect, you will receive feedback to learn from, but your progress bar will also decrease. The top right corner will tell you what your highest progress was, and the star will show you what your current progress is. Remember, the assignment is not complete until you get to 100%. If you would like to stop your assignment before it is complete and come back to it later, press the three lines representing the menu, and click Stop. To go back in later, follow the same steps as before. You'll notice that your progress was saved, and that you can pick up where you left off. 
When you have reached 100% proficiency, you will see this screen. It will give you an outlook for how much of this information you will remember in the future, based on scientific studies of the human brain. If you'd like, you can rate the drill or go back and keep practicing. Once you have reached 100% proficiency, the assignment moves to the Assignment Archive on your dashboard. You can still access this drill through here. You can view your results by clicking into the assignment, just like you did before, and clicking the Results tab. The My Progress view shows you your path to 100% proficiency and predicts your future proficiency in this topic. The Compare with Others tab shows you how your path to proficiency compares with others who have completed this same drill.